audience not to respond in that fashion. So I know it upsets people when they hear things like this, but let's keep it under control. Ted Martinez. Setting up. Can you hear me okay? Yes. All right. I'd like to read something to keep it short. Um, this situation is causing a great deal of unrest in our community. Again, the city has suffered to become a destination point for vacation travelers and putting friends and neighbors at odds with each other. Before the Homer Charter was introduced, the voters were asked if they wanted the Homer Charter as opposed to being governed by the state. The voters indicated they preferred the Homer Rule as it allowed us more freedom in situations that were unique to our city and our circumstances. The 28 members, or, or how many members of the Homer Rule Charter, were elected by the voters of which I was one. Um, for the purpose of writing the trend of that home rule charter. The members were divided into separate committees to study home rule charters from other cities that were of, uh, of our size and location. Uh, then we then wrote a draft, presented it to council, which went on the ballot. The voters approved it by a large margin it became the governing criteria for the city of Trinidad, and it can only be amended or repealed by the majority vote of the registered voters. Among other things, the charter made it crystal clear that the city manager serves at the pleasure of council and can be hired or fired by the majority of council. It is not an elected nor a position and it's not subjected to taking office to being recalled by the public. The right falls within the domain of city council, as well as the hiring and removal of city attorney and municipal judge. Chapter 6, manager 6.6. .6. It states very clearly, the city manager shall help be held accountable to the mayor and city council for his or her actions and those of his or her subordinates, and the mayor of the city council retains the prerogative of requiring the city manager to make verbal or written reports concerning his or her activities, those of his or her subordinates at administrative service under his or her charge. There are many instances in Chapter 6, management regarding the authority and accountability that serves for this group. In the event the city manager's dismissal, as he, is, he as well as every other employee has the right to hear, as this would fall under the employee or labor relations matter, would not be held as a public meeting. The intent of this letter is to remind the voters the only method of self-government. Ted, it's just about time. Three minutes. Pardon me? Just about time, three minutes. I've got one sentence left. Uh, no, i got to start. In the interest of the letters to remind the voters that the home room method of self-government, instead of matters of statewide concern, it's the method of government they approve, the elected officials voted into office and acted in the city's registers. And part of their duty is to hire a private city manager if, by a majority of the vote, in the city's best interest. These are the laws approved by the voters in order to form an orderly process of administering our laws. To do otherwise leads to a lynch mob mentality, at the least, an anarchy at the worst. Thank you. Peterson, uh, Mayor Reno, City Council. Uh, my name is Jeff Peterson. 
I am a uh, voting and tax paying citizen of this beautiful town of Trinidad. I am also su a supporter of a group of concerned citizens called Occupy Trinidad. The goals of our group don't include the, the crazy stuff we've seen on TV with the Occupy groups. Uh, we're not going to be camping out on the city lawn across the street and expecting uh, Chief Lorioso to kick us out, anything like that. But uh, there is uh, some chief goals we have in our group. And one of these, some of these goals are just as American as, as apple pie. Chief among them is transparency. Transparency of actions from our elected officials. I think everybody's tired of a lack of transparency at a national level, and it's disappointing to see that at a local level. We need to see transparency at the local level and following proper charter rules and proper, proper governing principles. Um, your actions to date really don't meet with these fundamental expectations. Um, Occupy Trinidad supports El Gilderubio, Ed Gilderubio. We believe that he has done a fine job as city manager and has implemented many progressive ideas. We see no justification for his firing and urge the council to take advantage of the opportunity for outside mediation by the Trinidad Community Foundation in order to resolve these issues between the council and city manager. You have an opportunity in front of you to resolve this issue with the help of mediation and help mend the community, and we ask you to take that opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Council Persons. Uh, first, I want to thank all the citizens on both sides who were honking their horn to honor my 70th birthday today. I didn't, I didn't know that you all knew. I'm here also to, um, to strongly urge each and every single member of the Council to take this opportunity for a breather, for everybody to take a deep breath, and to take advantage of the mediation that's been offered. I'm going to that's my beginning point, but I want to offer a few things based on my experience. I saw some young people in the back that have signs that say, protect our future. And what I want to say to them is if a small majority wins what they view as their fight to fire this city manager, those young folks are actually having their future damaged. I read in the paper today that in uh, the, the city of Pueblo, for example, took example took the offer of the uh, LED that was get offered to the city of Trinidad through the hard work of uh, Mr. De Rubio. They took it without bids, and they're saving themselves hundreds of thousands of dollars, which now will be on the shoulders but over a period of about four years to you young folks that have that are saying help our future. The other thing uh, that I want to say is based on my experience. Some of the council members have complained that the city manager didn't communicate with them. What I, uh, doing a little research, I see a lot of missed opportunities. What I saw was every council member, at least a week before any meeting or work session, was provided an entire set of work papers about the issues that were there. The city manager had an open door policy for all of the council persons to come in and speak about any of those issues that were of concern or that they didn't understand. Most of those folks didn't take advantage of that. I asked, another point that I want to make quickly is that the uh, review process that the city manager was supposed to have had last year, uh, when the, uh, when the uh, councilman walked out and it didn't happen in the public uh, forum that the manager had a right to, the council agreed, or, and the manager agreed to do one-on-one -on -one review. Only three council members came in and did that review. Those council members who did not come in did not fulfill their duties as a representative of all of the citizens of Trinidad. And then one more point that I want to make before I close is,